Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? My name is Damien, welcome to my channel. So I haven't played Curse in a very long time, but recently I started playing Curse again. After a long break, because I was tired a bit of the bullshit of a developer and everything, uh, and zooming around a lot of games, uh, I just went back to it, because uh, why the fuck not? Uh, since none of us can actually purge this goddamn game for, uh, from our lives, uh, instead of focusing on the many, many, many bugs and problems and criticizing them, I decided to find a list of things that would be awesome to be implemented. Take into account, I haven't played this game in a very long time, and so there might be some things that uh, might be not completely correct, or I might not be have the full vision of it. But this is my opinion, and this is something that I see a lot of new players struggle with, and players come to my channel, come to my stream, and they ask. It just feels like it's very hard for them to reach the point or where players that have played this game for a long time are at. This suggestion are pretty, ba pretty much based on this kind of uh, premise. All right, so this is for a thing that I thought of uh, in like 30 minutes of looking at uh, uh, going into the game in and out and uh, using my new accounts and stuff and thinking like what could they have done better or what should they, they not remove. So I'm gonna start with make it friendly for new players when it comes to getting new items. A lot of the players like me do not have this problem. Since we've played this game for so long we have a, a, a huge amount of items that we can switch in between. Uh, the, this, side, uh, this basically allows us to customize our character however we want, but new players cannot. Customization in this game is very important. I do think that a big part of the player base, it is not uh, a player base looking strictly for PvP, but a player base that actually consists on the social interaction and the hub life on Kurt's spell. They care more about showing off their character than do they actually care about going into a match and doing PvP. Most of the people just do PvP for the sake of events and getting items and being able to customize their character. After all, not everyone has the time to put into the game to grind these items. Some of us do, but uh, not everyone does. And we want to try to attract as many people as possible. So my second point, this is something that I've seen a lot of casual asking about as well and it is lore. Some of us all older players also missed this. Uh, it gave some purpose to the character. You could like, it, it gave some role play to the character. When the game was launched, there was some uh, uh, introduction to the game in a form of lore, which lacked a proper intro to the mechanics for the new players. Basically, you had the lore, but you did not have the uh, proper know-how to go into PvP, uh, only into PvE. Nowadays, we do not have the lore, but we do have a couple of beginner missions that explain the basics, the very basics of Curse Spell against some AI, which hopefully is useful enough for beginners when getting into the game, uh, be it PvE or PvP. So basically my suggestion would be add back the old lore or the new one, however, whatever fits better and keep the current intro mechanics for beginners. I, I would think this is something that is very obvious, and but nonetheless, I feel like there there is a need to say because sometimes obvious things go unnoticed. All right, suggestion number three. This is something that I've seen in many, many Korean and Asian based games. There's a tendency to hide certain things. In this case, in Curse Spell, the tendency is to hide proper values for skills, passives, and any other kind of item that we require to use. So my suggestion here is a simple one. It would be proper tooltips of skills, which means that it would be give us mana cost on skills, uh, show us the cooldown of skills, show us the break damage value of skills, show us the damage value of skills, the endurance value, this is all quality of life additions and are always welcome even if as small as they are you can even use this as a you can release this stats for a new karma that's being released and people can start tier crafting this kind of tier crafting will create content and content creates more popularity for the game i think that this is all the kind of things that uh, should be looked at and uh, it would do wonders for the game suggestion four this will be sort of controversial i, I know that it's going to be a lot of people are going to say no i don't agree with that but i i do think it could help quite a lot new players get into the game and uh, you know it would definitely shorten the uh, learning curve 
that it takes for a new player to get into the game and maybe they don't get maybe there's a, a chance that they don't get bored of the game because the game is too hard for them make it possible for new players for new accounts characters to pick up one or two karmas that are fully unlocked from the start i know that cog doesn't like this that this will mean less money going in but players like uh, to make decisions if there is six or seven karmas and you give the player the choice to pick one or two karmas to go into the game and use it as their main karma till they unlock uh, another karma fully they will enjoy picking this this is giving them a decision this is uh, giving them uh, some power over what their path and curse spell is going to be and i think this is always very important because when going into a game regardless of what you think if it's an mmorpg or not if it's an arena game you're building up a character you want that character to feel like it's yours therefore if you give them the choice to actually pick one single karma that they can use as a main karma i i do think that people uh, will definitely like that change and it will definitely come back to the game and try to get better at that karma and eventually once they start seeing that there's other karmas they start going to those karmas and actually developing skills on those new karmas as well i i, I would say that this suggestion is more of a stepping stone for newer players getting into the game so that they can kind of feel what is like to be to have uh, a weapon fully unlocked with its full potential and having your skill be the only determinate factor if you can win or not so as a final thing i would like to to say would be or to propose would be for to stop releasing content constantly actually implement fixes to the game there was a lot of changes a lot of fixes that were made uh, across this m months that were small but regardless they were good changes so i would like to see that happen more frequently instead of uh, constantly thinking uh, uh what am i gonna what are you guys gonna add to the curse spell shop what are you guys gonna add to another like more content to pve to pvp i would like to see actual bugs being fixed and i would fucking love to see actual server stability i know this is asking too much but this is something that i think every single player uh, feels the servers being constantly unstable if there's a, 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 a surge on the player base and it would be nice to see a change on it so yeah guys that that was my video i i i felt like making a video about that because i i uh, even though the game is has a lot of issues i feel like sometimes there's, there's always room for improvement there's always room for a positive criticism and that, that is my two cents on some of the things that i've seen in the game since i came back to playing it so yeah i hope you guys like that remember to if you can share the video like the video subscribe and i'll see you guys on stream see you guys on tuesday have a nice one guys bro all right come here come over here i am the goat slayer.